This evening, the EC version of Ariane 5 will inject into a geostationary transfer orbit two telecommunication satellites. Protostar 1 for the American operator Protostar and Varda 6 for the Pan-Arab operator Arabsat. Protostar 1 was built by Space Systems Loral in its Palo Alto facility in California. It will be placed in upper position for a mass at liftoff of 4,191 kilos. Therefore, Ariane Space is honored to participate this evening to the first launch of this new operator Protostar with the injection of its first satellite into orbit. The latter would provide direct to home TV broadcasting and high speed internet over Southeast Asia. But R6 was prepared by Astrium satellites in its Tulus plant in France. It will be located in lower position for mass at liftoff of 3,346 kilos. This is the sixth spacecraft entrusted to Ariane Space by the Arabsat operator. It will enable an increased capacity for the latter by supplying broadcasting services over the Middle East and North African region. The performance required this evening of Ariane 5 amounts to 8,647 kilos. The targeted injection orbit is characterized by a perigee altitude of 250 kilometers, an altitude at apogee of 35,922 kilometers, and is located on a 2 degree inclined orbit in relation to the equator. The launch window opens at 9.47 p.m. GMT and closes at 10.21 p.m., i.e. a total duration of 34 minutes. A tous de DDO, attention pour le décompte final. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, top, allumage du moteur Vulcain. Top, allumage des EAP et décollage. Les paramètres bord sont nominaux. she blows, hauling herself against the gravity of the Earth. And however many times you see that, I, I don't think it's ever less impressive. After the six-second uh, vertical climb, we rotated to the east. We're heading out across the Atlantic. We're burning three engines. We've got two on the boosters and one on the main stage. We're just hearing the sound of the vehicle now as she with, flies over. It's a bit delayed because it's 15 kilometers far from here. These boosters provide a total for us lift liftoff of around 1,300 tons. It's like the power of 12 jumbo jets. Each booster burns two tons propellants per second. They provide nearly all our thrust at this stage, roughly 90%. And those boosters, they're the ones that are doing all the work, as you say, and, and they're getting us away from the gravity of the Earth, and we need an awful lot of firepower to push us against gravity. Uh, and it's interesting to think that the very thing that makes life possible here is also what makes it difficult for us to get away. It's the right. And each one of those boosters is a whopper. It... Uh, about, each one's about 32 meters high. That's roughly a 12-story building. And yes, uh, and they are burning solid propellant, the powder. And it is bar burning just under two and a half minutes. So it's quite impressive, the, David. And they weigh roughly the size, the, they weigh the weight of about 10 trucks. <laughs> it's really impressive. And those boosters burn for just over two minutes. We're getting some fab fabulous pictures tonight because we are uh, we have a very clear night. Actually, we're quite lucky because it has been, been quite cloudy here recently, and there we have separation of those boosters. You can see them falling away. Yes, yeah, so it's um, it's uh, very clearly, clearly very seen on the screen. Lovely pictures, and uh, the uh, boosters are have burnt all their propellant, which is why they're falling away. We don't need those anymore. So now we're burning the main stage. Okay, we have separation. Oops. Separation of body suits.
That's very good news. We have uh, a lot of smiling faces there. All the teams have worked extremely professionally, and this is an indication of that tremendous pro professionalism of all the teams involved. It, it, it really is quite an exceptional uh, business, yes. Jesus. It requires huge dedication uh, and I application. I think we can feel very proud. Absolutely. I think big slaps on the back all the way around. Here we have the image of Bada 6 heading off into space. So, two new birds are born. Congratulations yes. to everybody. To our upset also, because of Bada 6 is now joining his brothers and sisters in space. Absolutely. And uh, Protostar has its first spacecraft now en route to geostationary orbit.